My stream is a wonderful place. Before I came here, I was an entirely different person. I gave attitude to my parents. I didn't want to do what they said. I was just horrible to them, and I would sneak food and I would lie, and it was just horrible. I feel great here. It's you're with people that understand you. You're, you're it's a bully-free environment. Well, before I was here, I was harassed and bullied. It got, and I was never harassed and bullied by girls. It was always by boys, boys after boys after boys. And it got to the point where actually I had rocks thrown at me. Like, they wait until there are no teachers around, and they literally threw rocks at me. And I would never, I would never tell my parents, I would never tell a teacher, until I got to the point, like, I was about to have a breakdown. And then I finally told them, but, like, whatever it is today, like, they don't care. They love getting in trouble. They're just going to come back, because technically, if you tell if they're picking on you, you're called a snitch, and a tattletale, and a freak. Because... They just, they don't want to get in trouble for it, but at the same time, it's like, who cares? Their parents aren't going to do anything about it. It's not like they're going to punish them or anything. And pretty much every kid here was bullied. They were teased, they were picked on, they were just like, they like, they felt like they belonged in the island of misfit toys. Like, they didn't belong. And they came here and it was a whole entire different environment. They just... They felt like they fit in. They felt like they weren't on that little island alone and unloved and they felt like they were wanted. I think kids that were bullied have been bullied but they show their stress and anger in so many different ways. They can be beat at home, they can be yelled at, they can have horrible relationships with their parents. So they take it out on other kids that have good parents, that have good lives, that just want to fit in. And that's how pretty much the whole bullying process starts. It's just, it's a giant cycle. I blame the parents of the kids that bully, because they refuse to do anything. They're probably the cause of why their parents are, of why their kids are acting out or being rude or mean, it might not be their fault, it could be due to divorce or death or anything, but if the parents refuse to do anything about it, it's it's kind of like they're saying, okay, go let the kid bully the other kid. If the kids are getting bullied out there that want to kill themselves, it's you just gotta let them know that they can't touch you, they can't hurt you, they can't put you down, they can't do anything to you. They can't bring down your spirit, because you are yourself and they cannot stop you from being yourself. You might not like the way you look or the way you act, but inside that person's great in so many different ways. And they shouldn't want to change who they are or even what they look like because somebody else says they're not perfect. Are spinning in the dark